So each individual XRP is moving 1,200 times. Then all banks across the Eurozone have to be connected for receiving of instant payments and three months later for the ability to send them. So by April 2025 next year. In the scene, and I know the Federal Reserve connected uh, 400 banks to Fed now in the last 12 months, didn't they? So uh, run us through that and tell us what's what's different then. The transaction volume is is low. Uh, transaction transaction cost is high. This is here to stay. Today, the G7 average debt to GDP is 129, 129%. No matter how much we tax, how much we cut or reduce that debt, it will not be enough. Well, if you take 120 trillion and you divide it by 100 billion, how many times is XRP moving? How much is it moving a unit, the unit of value? It's moving it 1,200 times, right? So each individual XRP is moving 1,200 times. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XRP army. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. Shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by tuning in. We're going to be talking about is 1K XRP still in play and why everyone will be caught off guard by XRP like they were in 2017, 2018. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.54 trillion, down about 0.7% in the past 24. We got XRP currently right around 51 cents, up 0.7 in the last hour, up 5.4% in the past 24. We got Stellar XLM currently right beneath 10 cents at 0.0985, up about 0.5% in the past hour. We got BTC 66,871 ETH right around 35, 36 hundo. We got Flare Networks right around 0 0.0266, XDC 0 0.034, Axelar down to 71 cents. We got Songbird 009, Stronghold 0055. We got Zahal right around 9 cents, Evernote 17, 18 cents. And we got Stu Alderati to pop things off. The SEC is raging. Ripple defended itself agreeing to nothing. The court gave clarity that XRP is not a security. There are no victims to compensate. And worst of all, for the SEC, Ripple is thriving, but at least SEC seems to have abandoned its absurd demand for two billy. We got a couple from XRP drops. Ripple's amazing leadership and the board of directors. Ripple has built an incredible skilled team over the years. This graphic provides an overview of the two most important employees and the education of each person. Ripple's got the A-team, nothing can stop what's coming. Trains left the station. Rosie Rios, know what you hold. Another from XRP drops. Isn't it strange to realize that already in 2015, a former Federal Reserve Bank and Enforcement Attorney, Karen Gifford, is working for Ripple Labs in such an important position as Chief Compliance Officer, revolutionizing the global financial system, banking and the finance hearing 316.15 with Chris Larson. The internet, a value work as an enforcement attorney at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And I did do money laundering investigations uh, long, long ago, pre-Patriot Act. And uh, one of the uh, major challenges, and, and frankly, fr we got subject views. As anybody knows, CGI Global still runs a Ripple validator node. By April 2025, every single bank in the Eurozone should be able to send and receive separate payments. Instant. Um, to sort of suggest that uh, every bank in Europe should be connected to the SEPA instant system in order to make money move more smoothly across the European continent. They've put on a really interesting deadline, which uh, was nine months from the date of enactment, enactment of the legislation, which came into force in early April. It means that by January the 9th, 2025, yeah, that's 2025, then all banks across the Eurozone have to be connected for receiving of instant payments and three months later for the ability to send them. So by April 2025 next year, every single bank in the Eurozone should be able to send and receive separate and payments. They've also extended it a little bit further, so it includes some of those other organizations, such as the payment initiation service providers, the e-money providers, and all of the banks outside of uh, the Eurozone in the rest of, of the European Union, which means that uh, within the next uh, 50 months mm. in total, we've got to get around about 4,000 institutions connected to that system, and in the next uh, nine months, around about 2,000 are going to be connected to the to the platform. In the seat. And I know the Federal Reserve connected uh, 400 banks to Fed now in the last 12 months, didn't they? So uh, run us through that and tell us what's, what's different then. Yeah, so um, really, um, the Federal Reserve did a great job. They got 400 banks uh, connected in the, in the first 12 months following the pilot. Um, but that's 400 out of 9,000. So as you can see, it's just a relatively small percentage of their market. And that's really because in banking, we see this sort of 20-80 uh, split. 
um, in the fact that around about 20% of the banks tend to do 80% of the volume. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look at most European markets, there's three or four major banks which will cover the vast majority of the market. Also, from a technology perspective, there's about 20% of the banks that are technologically um, advanced and adaptive enough to make sure that they can uh, take on these sort of changes within the market within record times. Rob Cunningham, crypto ain't Bitcoin. Thank God the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin. We've long been told that Bitcoin is the king of crypto, right? It's the first coin. It's the largest by market cap. And therefore, the first is the biggest must mean the best, right? Has the endless media hype or the true protocol solution elevated its price to number one? Crypto industry knows that Bitcoin is not ISO 20022 compliant. President Trump clearly considers crypto and Bitcoin to be two distinct different entities. Most Bitcoin maxes believe that most crypto tokens other than Bitcoin are S coins. Many very rich, sophisticated and influential people are aligned to the worldwide. Also, if you remember this tweet from Donald Trump saying he's not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies which are not money and whose value is highly volatile and based out of thin air, unregulated crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior, including drug trade and other illegal activities. XRP, the only cryptocurrency with legal clarity. Well, I will end Joe Biden's war on crypto and we will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. We're going to keep it right here. And a lot of it's going to be done right here in Florida, right? Um, the transaction volume is is low. Uh, transaction transaction cost is high, uh, and usability for the average person is is not is not yet very good. You know, selling real estate, whether it's you know any type of financial ledger that can be recorded uh, for posterity's sake, this is here to stay. The idea that most of crypto is about replacing the centralized banking system with networks that allow user control versus bank CEO control. Uh, and then those, and those transactions can be defined very broadly. It's not just moving same thing to value, but anything that's got an information content uh, is extraordinarily transformative. The focus on the value of the token is distracting and uninformative. So maybe now's a good time to invest in it. I'm investing in the company. I have owned some. We are here to make a dent in the universe. Either we will change the remittance unit universe, the way you understand, the way value gets transferred across the world between people, between institutions, or we will just fade away. We oppose to crypto, Bitcoin, etc. You pointed out going to true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance. Let me tell you, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. So even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's being really dumb to do this. And we got one from Radar Hits, Justin, breaking BlackRock CEO Larry Fink on the national debt. No matter how much we tax, no matter how much we cut or reduce that debt, it will not be enough. This is why building a new infrastructure, XRP, is critical. The IMF and the World Bank were created 80 years ago when banks, not markets, financed most things. Today, the financial world is flipped. The capital markets are the biggest source of private sector financing. And unlocking that money requires a different approach than the bank balance sheet model of yesterday. There's still a lot of work to be done, but reform over the past eight months have resulted in billions of dollars of new dollars for the developing country's infrastructure. That's what you saw last week with the announcement of the Investor Coalition. BlackRock, GIP, KKR, and other major firms will deploy $25 billion in Asia's emerging economies. In a way, it's an Indo-Pacific counterpoint to Italy's Mate plan, which is helping African economies grow, and that's important. Every country in the world needs a growth strategy. But if I could convey one more important message today, it would be the countries that need growth most right now are not just emerging economies. Great economic powers, including the G7, are in fact on the list and need growth going forward. All of us are staring down a growth dilemma. Whether we solve it or not, it's a significant economic fork in the road for our countries. Today, the G7 average debt to GDP is 129, 129%. No matter how much we tax, how much we cut or reduce that debt, it will not be enough. The only way we could achieve this future of growth is by truly growing out of it. But just growth is becoming more important because we need to be focusing on our fiscal health. 
It is also becoming much more difficult to achieve. Within 25 years, most of the G7 countries will be a dem- on demographic downslope. Working age population will decline. The ceiling on growth will get lower and lower. This is why building new infrastructure is critical, especially through public-private partnerships. Infrastructure investments is a counterforce to the high debt, low growth economies. We got one from Crypto Eddie, the Moe finance side event in Amsterdam. Gave it up for the killer builders across growing multi-chain blockchain ecosystems. The how XRPL, Root, Blair, JCO, Spending Bits, We Say, Shen, Project Lead. We got Moe Finance, the multi-chain DEX and cross-chain DEX aggregator live on the Root Network, Futureverse. Staging on the XRP Ledger and the XRP Ledger, EVM. The universal gateway to the multi-chain liquidity. We got Root XRP, ETH Root. Root USDC, USDC XRP, USDC to USDT, Silo to XRP, ASTO to XRP, Moai Finance. We got the digital asset investor XRP, right place, right time, almost as if it was all planned. This is all the show to replace the petrodollar, prevent World War Three. The Treasury will reply to Saudi Arabia ending the petrodollar by heavily pushing crypto stable coins like Tether and Circle. Maybe the RL. USD crypto could stave off a US debt crisis. We got a mustache altcoins in 2016, 2020. Now loading 2024. We're in a retest just like all the cycles before. Higher after that. Don't be left behind. TikTok. TikTok. We got a breakdown of how XRP theoretically could be insanely high. 10% of the value transacted through Swift puts XRP above 1K. And why? Stop there. All the money, all the value. For XRP's value is determined. I mean, I've seen this sort of simple calculation, but uh, Swift, Swift currently, I think the number is it settles 1.2 quadrillion, quadrillion with a Q, quadrillion dollars a year. And that is the amount of money that gets moved. It's not necessarily the market cap of how much money we have it's how much it, how many times does it get circulated, right? And if you have $1.2 quadrillion, let's say, for example, uh, the Ripple, you know, the XRP ledger system carves out 10% of that. That's $120 trillion, right? Um, and if XRP, let's just say, for example, the total unit supply of XRP is in the marketplace. At 100 billion, well, if you take 120 trillion and you divide it by 100 billion, how many times is XRP moving? Uh, how much is it moving a unit? The unit of value, it's moving it 1,200 times, right? So each individual XRP is moving 1,200 times. So wouldn't it be fair to say that that is an enormous value, and it would it, so that value would be 1,200 dollars per XRP if it's moving $120 trillion. So you have to look at it that And according to the XRP calculator here, how much is your XRP worth? We would have to do about 12 million in total estimated daily transaction volume to get around that $1,200 XRP price. Santamin Fee says there's a notable trend between the mentions of crypto being an alt season in the market hitting the top. When traders become greedy, their interest in altcoins rise. After the latest March, top this FOMO has calmed considerably. Proud fear brings us closer to a bottom mustache all coins finally happened the three-week gaussian channel has changed from red to green the last time this happened was in 2020 after which we saw an all season lasting several months egg Rack crypto xrp next triangle consolidation in the future newbies will say xrp is stagnant around 50 bucks instead of 50 cents they will say xrp only pumped from 50 dollars to 200 they'll never comprehend the seven-year conviction and dedication even xrp builders are starting to nag and feel frustrated xrp army stay ready we're living in an exponential age understand that all the previous models will be thrown out the window because they will not apply to the fourth industrial revolution best is yet to come the last brick of the puzzle finally coming together and with that being said bad man and bag ladies nothing could stop what's coming the longer the base the higher in space everyone will be caught off guard by xrp like they were in 2017 2018 when xrp went from double o to 375 the seven-year ordeal has ended very soon see you on the moon the best is still yet to come let her friend know that the greatest opportunity 
but multiple lifetimes are still at hand, and 1K is still in play. Where will those bags be when that regulation drama lasts? Finally breaks open, and XRP's true price is finally revealed. Later, glitches. Knew it would happen and we told you, we told you, we told you. We knew it would happen and we told you, we told you, we told you. We knew it would happen and we told you, we told you, we told you. We knew it would happen and we told you, we told you, we told you. We knew it would happen and we told you, we told you, we told you. We knew it would happen and we told you. We told you, I told you, we told you. I told my boss I put my two weeks on feeling bullish. Never coming.